Hey okay, guys, welcome back to another Reboot Starlight video. Um, for today, sorry about the late video. Uh, actually, I made a video previously, but I decided to redo it. That's why I'm a single day late. In fact, I'm more than 24 hours late. Uh, for today, just quickly, we will be going through the event Gacha. So there are two different types of Gacha. So in order to um, make sure that no one is confused, uh, the two gachas are event gacha, which is the pulls that you get using the masks, as well as the banner gacha. So, right, we will take a look at the event gacha first and see just what's so different about the payouts this time. Alright, so that was just like the second difficulty of the boss. I can't do the third difficulty yet, but I've already cleared it using multiple attempts. I think two attempts, and I have not done this, but. Um, I would highly recommend everyone to at least unlock the 4th difficulty. You don't have to clear it. I don't think it's worth clearing for 60. It's not very worth um, redoing multiple times just to get 60. However, it is quite important to at least clear until 4-7. Because every time you clear a single stage, you get all of these rewards. So that's a lot of rainbow loot. And each rainbow is worth about uh, 11k gold in the shop. So that's a lot of gold. It's a lot of gold that you're getting for free. So okay, let's look at the lottery. Uh, my current reward set, I'm on the third set actually. Third in my second day, so that's not too bad. So this is what you can expect. Um, 10 times potential crystals for every single set. So set 1 you get I think 10, then set 2 you get 20, set 3 you get 30, and I believe it goes up to 40 and 50 onwards. Okay, so they do drop blue pieces, bronze pieces, silver pieces, and even gold pieces on the third set. So this is actually really quite worth the quite worth the farm, I think. I think it's quite worth it to to in, to improve your boxes as fast as possible. Some of you might want to just complete each of the boxes each time. That's fine as well. It's really up to you. Um, the coins are not much, so I, I call them gold. But you know, gold coins, gold coins, gold. Okay, let's just stick with uh, gold. Then lesson, uh, lesson tickets, these are like trash. The upgrade memoirs are okay. So that's about it. Um, you don't really need these though, because they are not limited, you can actually buy them from the from the theater shop itself. So what's important is just this. Okay, and um, also do note that uh, so my my Juna, Juna is already at 4 stars and if you do upgrade her to 4 stars, you get back 50k based on the event payout and if you upgrade her to 5 star, you get back 100k so that means that um, I would expect when you upgrade her to 6 star, she will get I think like 200k or something so basically it is free of charge to upgrade her to a 6 stars um, from 3 to 4 stars, it costs 50k to upgrade but they will pay you back 50k and from 4 to 5 stars, it costs 100k but they will also pay you back 100k gold so this is a free of charge upgrade please upgrade her as fast as you can as much as you can it is free make sure you do it before the event ends it's very important you get a free 6 stars just like that okay but as for her skills let's look at her skills because she's like the free character to get so everyone would definitely have her um oh what's that that's right i have 12k so you guys know what's coming up later okay so looking at her skills um not very amazing because like she has balance stats not x power and low damage medium damage without any brilliant attacking skills uh, medium damage and normal defense down is okay if you are a high act character it is okay if you're a high act character then high damage normal defense down so she has double normal defense downs to the front enemy group so she's pretty much a tank killer, which is not too bad, considering that Maya Tendo is a space type and she is a moon type, which makes her an excellent choice in destroying Maya Tendo. She is an excellent choice in destroying Maya Tendo, not in the special attacking way, but in the breaking of their norm of her normal defense. So that's that. Um, the two auto skills are meh, no big deal, and these of course. Um, she'll be good to use in the event because she has 100% bonus damage and also also that she becomes a 6 star for free given just a few days of grinding. So I'm, I'm hoping to get her to 6 star ASAP maybe within the next couple of days, hopefully. 
I might even drop some gems just to refresh, just to recharge my stamina here so that I can get more attempts at getting boss keys. Okay, so this character is done, she's alright. Not the worst, but not great either, but still useful. Still useful. She would have been, like I said, she would have been so much better if she had high act. Okay, then now let's look at the gacha. Uh, Phantom Nana Daiba. I, I'm not a fan of Banana, to be honest. I uh, prefer anyone, any other Seisho girls, but I, I feel like Banana doesn't really have her own personality as much as the rest do. Uh, looking at the character, so right off the bat, high act power is really nice. For a moon type with high act power, this is a very good character, especially noting that she has, she does special damage. She's an excellent choice for destroying Maya Tendo, and look at this. Look at this act power. 1,223 at max. This is a lot. This is really huge as a 4 star. This is a very good number. And she's also pretty fast as well. 1,194 agility. This is really good. Let's, I'll, I'll do the comparison with another similar character later on. Uh, she has Slash of Brilliance which is very nice. And But then um, her Noxious Dance. Yeah, this is a butt. <laughs> Uh, medium damage and poison to a front enemy group. This is not very good. I would prefer her to have medium damage and normal defense down or special defense down to the front enemy group, which kind of fits her role as a single target tank killer. So this is not very nice. I would definitely skip this skill whenever I see it. I'm not going to waste 3 AP just to poison the front enemy group. It's not such a big deal. I mean, poison is it's still kind of good, but it's not going to change. It's not going to affect your, your, your comp that much. It's not gonna matter that much. But this though, this um, climax act, all it does is just very high damage to the front enemy. This is the first time I've seen the word very being used. So very high damage to front enemy. So she's an excellent tank killer for 2 AP. I really wonder how much damage she can do. And of course effective element damage plus 6%. That makes her an even much better choice at destroying Maya Tendo. So it seems like right off the bat, from the get-go, they want to get rid of Maya Tendo as fast as they can. And of course, Evade at the start. This is one of the best, I mean personally to me, this is one of the best passives that any character can have, Evade. Especially if you're an attacker, this is really really good. And she does 200% more damage to the boss. Um, all in all, this character is, is a really class character, she's really good. So let's compare her stats to find out if she's really top tier. Okay, so Act Power 1223. Agility is here. Um, you can do the comparison yourself because you can just rewind a video. But let's look at uh, Hikari, Musketeer Hikari, because she is well known as a tank, as an anti tank. So she possesses high attack power as well. But you can see that agility and act power, she loses out by 100 each. Yep, right? Act power is about, about 100. This is also about 100. However, she is tankier in other aspects. However, for a DPS character, you don't really want to be too bothered about um, being extremely tanky. I mean, tanky is fine, it's good to be tanky, but you want to have your stats tailored towards attacking instead. But it's not that her stats are bad, her stats are still good. And do note that she's also, this uh, Musketeer Hikari is a frontliner and a normal damage dealer, which makes her a lot poorer in terms of sustainability, survivability sustainability as well, survivability as well as damage output in terms of defeating possible tanks. Because right now, spe doing special damage is kind of the way to go. Uh, so yeah, I'm just comparing between this character and the Phantom Banana because they are quite similar in terms of their use. However, she's this Musketeer Hikari is a Cloud type, but Phantom Banana is a Moon type which makes Phantom Banana a really really awesome pick. Like at this point, I think she is, even though she hits a single target, I think she's possibly, very possibly one of the better characters that you can pull in this game. So it seems like right off the bat they are already releasing really strong units. I'm hoping that they don't uh, power creep or anything like that. But you know what? I want her right now. <laughs> okay, so just discussing about her makes me a little bit salty. So. Let's see whether I can get her. Alright, come on, banana. 40 pulls, let's go. Banana, banana, banana! Okay, there is one chance on my third, third envelope. Third invitation. Alright, my attendant has lost to no one. 
Oh, this is good. I really like her. But that will be for another day. Oh, it's not on the third invitation. That's weird. Okay. Alright. Okay. Banana. Banana. <gasps> oh my goodness. No way. No way. No freaking way. No. No, 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 no. No way. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm freaking out. I am freaking out. Oh my goodness. I got Nana Daiba right off the bat. Right off the summon. This is crazy. Guys, I'm freaking out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I, and I totally forgot to discuss something. Um, now that I'm looking at all of these memoirs, I really wanted to discuss the memoir. Um, because the... Whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Oh my goodness, I got her. Whoa, this is sick. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. Banana nice. Banana nice. Okay, I don't have to summon anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. Okay, I wanted to discuss. Um, yeah, let's just put my my feminine side away. Um, I want to discuss this print. This print is awesome as heck. Look at it. It, it has an innate act power. As you can see, 69. Yep, 69. And also, passive damage plus 5%. Critical plus 21%. And I've said before, Critical is a multiplicative effect. The more you have, the much better it gets. Uh, and also it has an event boost, which is very nice for defeating the bosses. But you know what, now that I have Banana, um, I think it's going to be a cakewalk. I think Banana is going to rip through the boss. I can I can move on to the third difficulty just like that, just because I have her. Okay, so with that said, uh, let's have a last look at her. And then I'll probably do a video next time regarding um, Phantom Banana. Oh, her nickname is Banana, by the way, that's why I'm calling her Banana. Uh, she, I don't really like her, her, her look. I mean, her outfit is awesome, but I don't really like her look. It's so, so plain. But I, who am I to complain, man? I already got what I wanted. Uh, noise. Banana Noise. <laughs> right, that's my name right now. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, what was this? Banana Noise. <laughs> Alright, okay, so that's it. That's the end of my video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!